This episode of My Funky Addiction was brought to you by Curiosity Stream and Nebula. Sign up for both for less than $15 a year by using the link down below in the description. I'm Jeanin, and I'm 58, and I'm addicted to doing absolutely nothing. Every morning, I wake up, and then that's it. That's all I do that day. I sit in this puddle right here in this cave under Bosnia, and, well, that's it. Growing up, I always hated moving. I moved up and down the cave a little bit, you know, I had more energy then, back in the day. I'd swim a bit. But then one day, it hit me. Hey, I don't have any predators down here, and there's barely any food down here. Why am I wasting energy? It's simple. Moving around made me stressed. Not moving made me feel less stressed. It was an easy decision. I feel like I'm not supposed to move because it feels so right. Is there much danger to sitting still for seven years? Generally, yes, that would be a bad idea. You and me would die after about a week of starvation or dehydration. If you sat in the middle of a freeway, I'd say you have about five minutes. Why haven't I eaten? Simple answer, there's no food down here. Barely anything. I usually like to eat small crustaceans, shrimps, snails, insects if I can find them. You know, good grub. If I see anything, well, not see since I don't have any eyes, since I live in complete blackness inside of this cave, but hear or feel, I'll eat it in one big bite. I'll swallow it whole. Chewing is moving, is what I always said. Around eight years ago, I had a huge feast. I've stored the surplus of that meal on my liver in the form of glycogen. I'd say I've got another two years of that left, and then maybe, maybe I'll go out hunting again. You know, worst case scenario, I can just reabsorb and digest some of my bodily tissue. No biggie. My cavemates, they've got no idea what's going on. We don't talk much, but word does still get around. I noticed that Jonin doesn't really get around much. Really, most of us in the cave don't. I mean, we're troglodytes. We're obligated to live in caves. If we leave, we get called awful, awful names. What have we been called? Earthworms, damp, creepy crawlies, human fish, even though we're neither humans nor fish. We just have human colored skin. Oh, back in 1689, my grandpa washed up to the surface and the humans thought he was a baby cave dragon. I'm just gonna lay it all on the table for all of my cave mates and I just hope they don't judge me too much. You know how whenever you see me, I'm always right here. Yeah? Well, I haven't actually moved at all for seven years. Really? I was honestly shocked. I mean, most of us in the cave don't move much either. Some scientists actually came and studied us inside this cave. They did this thing called a capture mark recapture study. They caught me and then they injected this glowing pebble thing up my rear end. They'd come back every couple of months and check us out again and monitor how much we had moved or didn't move. They monitored a few of us for almost a decade and found that most of us moved less than 10 meters every year. Let me put this into perspective for you. A three-toed sloth's top speed is comically slow at around 0.24 kilometers per hour. That's only around four meters per minute. If a sloth moves even just 1% of the time, that means in a year, it moved 21,000 more times than an average all. Most of us moved less than 10 meters a year. Okay, sure, but that's something at least. Why do you do this? Why don't you move? I don't gotta move. Look, I didn't want to say anything, but I know you guys have noticed. I just didn't want to say anything, so I didn't impact our friendship. Look, I wouldn't exactly call me and Jonin friends. No offense to him, but I wouldn't call anyone my friend. I just don't really have the energy to socialize. No one does down here with the whole lack of food situation. During some laboratory studies, they seemed to think olms would clump up in groups. But I mean, what are you supposed to do when you're in a tiny cage? We don't try to avoid each other particularly, but it's not like we ever clump up in a herd as a safety measure or anything. Where do I sit? There's no real rhyme or reason to it. I just sit where I feel like it and where the current is okay. When I moved, I'd always mark my favorite spots with pheromones, and then I'd prefer to come back to them. Even when some scientists came and moved my favorite sitting rock, well, I'd always come back to it. Look, guys, it's really not a big deal. I'm not hungry. I'm not ready to have another kid. My boy is only 10 right now. I'm 18, Dad! Really, you still look like a baby. We're neo-tennis creatures. We retain juvenile traits into adulthood, like gills and your inability to think about anyone other than yourself. I'm really worried about my dad. You know, 
Bulbs usually breed every 12 or 13 years or so, but my dad hasn't had another kid since me. It's not like he's old or anything. He's only 58, and us Olms typically live well into our hundreds. My grandma lived almost 130. Why haven't you had another kid yet, Dad? Why haven't you moved? Why are you afraid to experience life? Why? Because I don't want to be disappointed again, like I was after you were born. Oh my god. So today I'm going to go meet with a psychologist, and I'm here now for my cave mates and son since they all seem really worried about me. Part of the reason I know you're here is to talk about the whole not moving or eating thing. I want to tell you that while, in theory, Olms can go almost a decade without eating, well, you aren't thriving. After you eat through the supplies of glycogen and lipids in your liver, you're going to start reabsorbing your own tissues just to stay alive. That's crazy, but doctor, what's the point? My dad's legacy will continue on forever. He got put on the back of the Slovenian to Lar. You could get made into a Minecraft character, like axolotls, or become a pet. That's not ever going to happen. You know why? Because axolotls are cute, and olms are horrifying abominations. No one will want us as a pet or as a Minecraft character. We just sit in caves for a hundred years, and that's it. But you know what? I like sitting here. Am I disappointed with how my life turned out? Maybe. But even if I don't accomplish anything, I enjoy sitting here and just feeling the current and being alive. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh my god! He's moving! Later that day, Jeanin found a giant snail. He ate it in one bite. Jeanin did not move for another six years. Jeanin was then killed when a diver came into the cave and accidentally stepped on him. He was just 64 years old. Jeanin became the first creature in over 30,000 years to achieve Nirvana. Next time on My Funky Addiction. I can't stop eating DVDs and Blu-rays! Devin eats 3,000 DVD and Blu-ray discs a year. That's over eight per day. Why do I eat these? Simple! It's the most efficient way of absorbing information! Devin, if you don't stop eating DVDs... And Blu-rays! Yes, and Blu-rays. You will die. What about, instead, you try watching documentaries on Curiosity Stream? You can sign up for it and also Nebula for less than $15 a year. Ever since I found the thousands of beautifully produced and informative documentaries and other nonfiction titles on Curiosity Stream, I no longer have to eat DVD and Blu-ray discs to try and get information. I eat them just because I want to. Devin died after eating 38 copies of Paw Patrol, the movie, on DVD. At his funeral, they played Monkey Mayhem, his favorite documentary on Curiosity Stream. He encouraged all of his friends and family to check out one of the thousands of nature documentaries on Curiosity Stream. Well, Anubis, did I make it into the good afterlife? Well, on one hand, you destroyed the lives of the ones closest to you by your raging addiction to eating DVDs. But, on the other hand, you astounded everyone in elevators with incredible information you learned from watching exclusive titles on Nebula from everyone's favorite smart indie creators. Like Real Engineering's Logistics of D-Day and Real Life Lore's Modern Conflict series? Yes, those and many, many more. You know what, since you signed up for the Curiosity Stream and Nebula Bundle deal for less than $15 a year, why don't you come on into the ancient Egyptian heaven? In heaven, do extended cuts of BioArk videos still come out early and ad-free? They sure do, kid. Click the button on screen now to sign up for the Curiosity Stream and Nebula Bundle deal for less than $15 a year. Signing up for this deal does not guarantee you admittance to ancient Egyptian heaven or any other afterlife.